Hello and welcome to a new Precious Plastic video. Today we're gonna help launch a Precious Plastic workspace in the jungle because as you can see even here it's absolutely full with plastic. So we're here in Guanchaco, a remote Afro community in the Pacific coast of Colombia. <laughs> This place is so remote, there's not even an ATM or a fuel station and even fresh fruit and veggie is scarce. So this is kind of crazy, this is the only place where you can buy fruits in town. To get here it takes an hour on a speedboat and as you can imagine there's very little waste management in place in here. And that's very much why we are here. This place is a true paradise. So much so that the whales come here to give birth and hang around for a few months. Plus they have this huge crazy wild jungle and this massive mangrove that extends in this whole area. And this is really where you can see nature at its full potential. But as you might already know, this beach, like many other in our beautiful planet, has been overwhelmed by tons of plastic waste, impacting the lives of people here in Guanchaco, the beach, the ocean, and all the inhabitants of the ocean. So as you can imagine, communities like these are left completely on their own to deal with all of this plastic waste. And yes, of course, some of this plastic might actually come from them. However, the big, vast majority comes from there, from the ocean. Every day, every morning, every new wave brings new plastic onto these beaches. And they are the one having to deal with it. So a funny fact, which actually is not funny at all, is that the government here tells people to burn plastic in their backyard. And if that wasn't silly enough, it also tells them to not disturb the neighbors while doing that. So make sure there's no wind blowing and maybe do it when people are working. And this is just sure, I mean, yeah, you should always respect your neighbors, but, but way before that, you shouldn't burn plastic. So here we are. This is one of the common way of recycling here in the Pacific. That's all they are, <coughs> all they are left with. And it's uh, pretty toxic. Okay, but enough bad news. Let's go back to the very beginning of this story. Today we are in rainy Bogota and we are about to load this van with tons of recycling machines, molds, equipment and together with a bunch of precious plastic workspaces and people from the precious plastic community here in Bogota we're going to drive this van from here all the way to the Pacific coast which is about a thousand kilometers away and it's going to take 14 to 15 hours. However, these days I'm not traveling alone anymore which means that unfortunately I'm not going to be able to join the trip but we're gonna meet them again in Buenaventura on the coast and help them start the recycling center. This thing is a four by four, right? Yeah, yeah, this, this is a tank. Hey, welcome. Hey man, how are you? Buenos dias. Buenos how are you, how was the trip? It was long. It was fun? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Injection machine. All right, so after a very long trip, the machines are finally here. They are all loaded on this tuk-tuk, and now they're gonna go to the recycling center and start recycling. All right, so this week marks the end of a year-long project to start this plastic recycling center, where precious plastic machines will enable locals to recycle their plastic waste. Hello, everyone. My name is Romy Shriver, director of Eco Pacifico Foundation in Colombia. We have a big day today. We're about to open the first recycling center of the Pacific coast of Colombia here in Juan Chaco. So let me show you all the cool things that are going to happen here. Let's go. This is the place where we receive the people from the community with the plastic sacks. We weighed it, we document it to sustain uh, sustainability data. Uh, research that is going to be happening all this year in this recycling center and then we're going to put all those sacks of plastic into the water tank. One of the big problems of uh, waste management systems in communities like this that are beach uh, territories is the salt and the sand. So before we shred everything in our precious plastic machine we absolutely have to wash everything in this water tank to make sure that the sand and the salt don't damage the blades. Once the plastic is washed, it comes to the classification and sorting area. So here we will sort everything out and make sure that everything is classified and then we bring it into the machinery area. This is our machine area. After everything is washed and sorted out, then it will first be shredded into our version one shredder precious plastic machine and then 
uh, the shredded plastic will come into this extrusion pro made by our friends from Onda Sostenible in Bogota. Now this extrusion machine will turn plastic into building bricks and into beams. So let me show you another set of machines that we have here in the recycling center of Juan Chaco, our beautiful injector machine. We're gonna be creating little pieces that we will show you later. And here we have a big shredder since there's so much plastic coming in in this type of community, we're gonna be held by this different shredder. My favorite part of these beautiful precious plastic machines is that they are being powered by solar electricity. So everything can be sustainable, so the people in the community don't have to pay for power when they are turning plastic into valuable goods. Let me show you the electric room. These are the batteries. And now we can finally do a sustainable recycling waste management program and project in this type of remote coastal communities of Colombia. So I really wanted to come and see the solars up close. Uh, here they are. En el señor de los decibeles. Okay, our days here in Guanchaco are coming to an end and we're living with our hearts full of hope and gratefulness for this recycling center right here in Guanchaco. And really with this understanding that precious plastic in many remote areas around the world is still the only solution to tackle this big plastic waste problem. All right, and that's it with this video. If you're ever, ever in Colombia and the Pacific coast, make sure to reach out to Eco Pacifico and Romy. They always need some help. And I'll see you in the next video. Ciao. Wait.